Howdy, it's Ron Denbroder from Keystone Motors. We're going to take a look at the square profile crossbar system for the uh, XC60. Now, notice the XC60 has the low profile rails, not the high up ones like on most uh, SUVs. That's for uh, less wind resistance, uh, so a quieter ride. So you've got the covers here. You can remove the covers. And here you can tighten up the rails once you've gotten them into position. I use a torque wrench for that so it will tighten them to the exact tightness that they're supposed to be. You can move these back and forth so that you can equalize them on both sides. And you also want to make sure that this is not too far forward. Be advised that this will also come in a wing profile uh, configuration, but it's not quite as universal as these square ones. So I recommend the square ones myself. And then you just tighten them down, put the lock and cover on, and you're all set. Okay, now we've placed the bike holder on the square profile rack. The crossbars are taking this flange and it clamps down using this piece here. It looks like this. Now in the back, we've got one that hasn't been tightened yet. The key securing device looks like that and the two teeth go around that post and then the post clamps down. Once everything is secured, we're going to put the bike on. So imagine that a bike is in this track and the tires are in the track and these mounts have been pushed out of the way so the tires can take their proper place. Now what we're going to do is there's a lever on the base of the clamp here and push the, clamp, the lever back. The clamp opens up. That clamps onto the down tube of the frame of the bike and then you use that lever to flip it back up clamps back down, now that's secure, and then all you have to do is go front and rear, feed these in, make sure they're semi-snug. Same thing with the front, and just push it down so that it's snug. It's that simple.